This is my mama. My little brother was still in the I was two. Now I was five. That's Jackie from Compass. She helped us to find the house so we don't have to sweep our uh, car again. First house was real about and it's so funny. The next house was perfect. Lots of other people liked it too. Here Jackie caught us after talk talk to the age. Hi Patricia. Um are you ready for the information that I have? Yeah. You got the place in Vallejo. <laughs> I promise. I just got off the phone with him like 32 seconds ago. You got the place in Vallejo. <laughs> you got it. He's sending me over. I promise, I promise, I promise. He's, he's oh my God, you're not playing with me right now. It was like an unexplainable feeling because, you know, and it, just after everything between foster care, you know, the abuse, mom being on drugs, not having a dad, no protection, all the neglect, just being cold, being hungry. After all that, to just finally come to a point to where I, um, I, like I have my peace, you know, or I could start, you know, my own foundation for me and my kids, you know. It just, just, it was just, it was beautiful. Um, I just feel like my struggle had ended at that point. Like I've, I've, I felt like I could finally breathe. What I love most about my job is that it doesn't feel like work. Every day isn't my favorite, don't get me wrong. <laughs> every day is not my favorite, but every day is a good day. I know that, you know, um, a smile is infectious, you know, and that um, attitudes are contagious. I've been a bartender, <laughs> a taxi cab driver, um, customer service representative, library aide, um, personal assistant, um, you name it. It's shaped who I am today. It's given me the ability to speak the language of kindness. And as the housing coordinator, I help families who are struggling with housing find housing, help them navigate the housing system. What I remember most about being a little girl is um, just having to be stronger than a child needs to be. I had to worry about what I was going to eat for the night or where I was going to sleep. So. I remember mainly that in and like yearning for my mother um, for protection and love. When I first met Patricia, I didn't know that she had the grit that she has. My first thought was, wow, she's young. She had a two-year-old and she was also pregnant. She had been sleeping in a Cadillac and it had all her things in. She, she needs help. So I made it my business to help Patricia get housed. I always have this this determination that everything will be okay. When it was too, like, super cold, you know, I would have to wrap my baby up in the back seat and put a lot of clothes on top of her just to keep her warm. I just went into survival mode. I met Miss Jackie, and I just did everything they asked. It's been like blessings on top of blessings from there. It's more than just a job for her. She actually, what she does, she does it from her heart. I don't think her day is truly fulfilled unless she's, like, put 110 percent into every case. They threw me up a baby shower. They also supplied like furniture um, for my first move in, diapers or anything for the kids, clothing, therapy if needed. You just have to of course voice it whatever your concern is or what you may need and then they'll like if they if Compass doesn't have it they'll find someone who does. The future holds everything for Patricia. I'm excited for not just her, but also for her kids, because she's an amazing mom. She's exactly the person she wanted in her corner when she was a kid. Every child needs that kind of mom who would just go to the end for them. It's been about four years now. 
I do caregiving, a little bit of security, food delivery. I was able to like go back to school for my degree. Um, well, my major is psychology, um, and I chose that because part of what I want to do is help youth that went through what I went through. I'm just so just grateful for Compass. I mean, it's the one-stop shop. We don't just do one thing in housing. There's this whole myriad, this whole symphony of things that go on that keep our families housed, help them get sustainable so that they can follow their pursuit of happiness. So Compass is a bunch of things. Like Compass is a lot of things, you know. I feel like it, it's nurture, it's love, it's support. <laughs> um, I think Compass is whatever you need them to be as long as you know you're doing your part. I feel like I'm breaking the cycle when it comes to drug addiction and homelessness for my kids. You know, I'm showing them something different. Putting my keys in the door just made me think this is our new beginning. It's just me and the kids. I love my house. It's so comfy. I love my brother. I love my mom a lot.